that is it is not that uh, after completing the prelims next year that you actually know what is the meaning of mains exam it is at this point that you should know what your main subject should be the first optional and at least have some inkling about the second optional in fact if you choose and zero in on the second optional it will be much better like uh, because uh, after the prelims exam you hardly get two months uh, two months and in two months preparing two optionals along with eight segments of gs and also the essay paper it might really drive you mad so it's better you start now and at least complete half of the main subjects at least one optional of the mains and at least half optional of the second the second optional and have a fair idea of the gs and know from where you're going to get the books know from where you're going to actually look for guidance so a fair idea is uh, what is required at uh, this stage after that uh, coming to the essay paper friends i would like to tell you that the essay paper is very very important and even for people who think that they do not have a fair uh, command over language or a command over uh, writing ability it is very important uh, to actually have a look at various essays published in various magazines and also for this particular thing you can uh, in fact refer to essays that are given by coaching centers also in my own example uh, i had practiced a number of essays and uh, these essays i had actually subscribed to some uh, coaching uh, uh, coaching uh, centers um, and uh, i had uh, got some material from them i used to write a lot and it helped me towards the uh, final uh, when the results were announced i ended up getting somewhere around 135 in essay which is a decent score apart from this one very small thing i would like to tell you is about the papers that is the english and the regional language papers please don't ignore them this might sound a bit uh, childish at times but uh, i have heard of cases where people do not qualify for these exams and it's a qualifying exam both of them the english paper and the regional language paper if you totally ignore these papers you might land up not qualifying and the meanwhile your mains uh, papers will not be assessed at all so please take them also very seriously this is about the mains exam i'll come back to any aspect if i have uh, left here uh, towards the end now uh, coming to the interview part the most important part of the exam or the most interesting and uh, enjoyable part of the whole experience interview actually is not personal interview is not interview per se it is actually a personality test and it is coined so by the upsc itself it is an examination of the personality of the particular candidate who is before the board personality which reveals the integrity the character the uprightness of the person and the way he is brought up what he thinks about this particular country this world and the events here i'd like to tell you something about interview preparation in general and then go to my actual experience of the interview interview i feel is a very important part of this whole process and therefore you should start preparing for the interview immediately after writing the mains exam maybe you could take about uh, 10 days break after the mains exam and then start preparing for the interview it you have about 3 4 months and that should be sufficient in the meantime uh for interview there are certain sections which are very important and which are traditional way from which questions are expected first is the bio data that you have already submitted during the mains exam this bio data comprises questions or sections such as your hobbies such as your background your home state your choice of service your preferences and nowadays cada allotment also so when you have started preparing for the interview these are the traditional areas which you have to keep an eye on for example your hobbies even during filling up the mains exam form be very specific in your hobbies now if you just write uh, singing they might uh, ask you to sing in the exam so if you are a good singer you please write singing if you are not a good singer you 
what you have a passion for music right music listening to kishore kumar songs but of course if you write kishore kumar songs you will have to be extremely perfect about kishore kumar and the songs that he has sung so that is about your hobbies secondly is your background that is background would include uh, your qualifications you have to be thorough with your subject you have to be thorough with your optionals and also with some points from your home state you have to know something about uh, the choice of service that you are giving in many cases uh, people opt for uh, foreign service over administrative service so that becomes a common question that uh, why have you opted for uh, ias over ifs in that case what kind of questions are expected from uh, foreign affairs uh, for that particular year are also uh, very likely questions in the interview so this is about general interview now how about method of preparation interview really does not have any one method of preparation every candidate has a separate method and this generally includes two things one is mock interviews and one is discussions with friends mock interviews again there may be candidates who have given about 20 mock interviews and still not cleared there may be candidates who have not appeared for any mock interview but have cleared with very uh, flying colors so it depends on uh, your own aptitude what you think at what level you have to start and what level you have to actually end the number of mock interviews that you are appearing for but i feel mock interviews at least for uh, three to four mock interviews should be good enough for you to have a good grounding of what you are going to face in the actual uh, interview board that is second